Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action. Today, we are playing Atlantic Fleet, and we are continuing our Kriegsmarine campaign. Now, let's see, if I recall correctly, we will be up against three Corvettes. Versus our, uh, destroyer. Looks like they get the first turn, though. Well, let's -a go. Oh, of course. Gotta select the ship. Ooh, it's snowing. Oh, they've got aircraft. What the shit? Oh, and that's gonna land right the fuck on me. That's two bomb hits. Was that their only... That was probably a hard hit, too. Oh, this... And my rudder is jammed. Okay. I guess move up to flank speed. Do I have any air power available? Yes. Torpedo bombers. <sighs> Seems like a waste. Well, let's see. These things can only do about... Yeah. About super slow. I think about right there. I hope that wasn't too far away. Uh, that might have been too far away. Ooh, those shots are getting closer. Please, no more airstrikes. I think I botched that one. Still can't move my rudder. And I have no more airstrikes available. Sell me 11.1, .1, might as well. Actually, let's try 10.5 and... No? No, I'm gonna try... Whoa, too much. I'm going to try 10 since I've got a tailwind pushing my shells. Well, I'd say that was a good hit. And so was that. Just barely. Ah, uh, yeah, that was totally a wasted effort. How much longer until I can repair... No. Why can't... Oh, there we go. Propulsion, steering, and pumps. Triple A is taken out, too. Well, it's a good thing that destroyer or uh, corvettes don't carry torpedoes. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, I would say that it's a 9.6. Because neither of us moved very far at all. Maybe shift slightly forward. Oh. Wow, that's a bit of a a long shot. I really, really hope this doesn't, uh... This doesn't come back to hurt me. Still can't move my rudder. Well, at least the fire is out now. Still only firing my front two guns. Oh yeah, it's gonna have to be... I don't know, it's... I feel like 7.7 .7 would be too short. Yeah, we'll try 8.0. Good hits. Jeez, these guys are spot on now. Except for this guy. Well, I take that back. Yes! Oh, you about to get f messed up. Oh, yeah. Well, three guns at least. Try 7.0 and shift slightly to the right to account for the slightly blowing left wind. Are you kidding me? These, well, these Corvettes are a, are a very small target, anyways. And something that uh, they absolutely model in this game, near misses will damage your ship. Oh, no! Damn it. Please sink! And I have a fire again. Two fires. And I have all five guns pointing at this guy now, so, uh... Goodbye. Still not sinking? 
Oh, there it goes. I was about to say, it took a full-on broadside from a destroyer. Keep that turn going. Let's see... I think 7.3 is going to be far too long, what it's uh, recommending right here. But 6... Or, yeah, six degrees will put me roughly, roughly there. So I'm going to try 6.5. No, 6.7. All five guns. And from this position, the wind is blowing slightly to the right, so I will adjust to the left. Uh, hey, I started a fire. Oh, I also didn't notice that the fire on the front of the ship is out. Just short. I'm a, just a little bit closer. It's recommending 6.4. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, take that. I must have knocked out its gun, too. It's trying to lay down a smoke screen. That's cute. Five point eight. Come on, thank you. That should be the end of the smoke screen, too. Twelve point two, huh? All right, got to start somewhere. Actually, no, no, no. Tailwind. I'm gonna go eleven five. Adjust for wind. Stop hitting me! Well, it sounds like the fire's out. That's a good thing. Because my ship is absolutely wrecked. Why is it recommending 12.9? 11.5 was much farther than the ship is now. Oh, my spotting or radar must have been damaged. Yep, right there. Main radar. And main spot. So my spotting and radar are uh, just a little bit on the uh, not-so-good side. Alright, so... That was 11.5. Let's go with 10.9. Stop. 
Stop hitting me! I'm down to one knot. I'm not going to make it past too many more hits. And the smoke from the Abelia wreck is obscuring my, uh, my vision. Alright, so 10.9. You know what? Let me... Tr this distance was 0.6 degrees. So, come down 0.4. Wind adjustment. Rinse and repeat. That was horrible dispersion. Yeah, flank speed. Less than one knot. Uh, yeah, I'll come down 0.7 degrees. There we go! Well, I'd say the, uh, the bombing run they had definitely gave them an upper hand on that. Scuttled? No, 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 no. Why? Fine. Alright, what's the next battle going to be? Versus a destroyer. And, yeah, I need to purchase a new ship. I do have 8200 Renown available to me this time, so... Let's see if I can uh, come up with something a little bit better. Probably one of the, the super destroyers, huh? Oh yeah, cruiser guns on a destroyer, that'll... Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, let's go! And we have the initiative this time. And this is out in the middle of the Atlantic between South America and Africa. So I don't think I will have any uh, airstrikes available to me. Seems to be somewhat moderate breeze. And flank speed turn just slightly. I want to make sure that I can uh, get all five guns firing. That. I have no airstrikes available. Alright, so I'm not going to make No, I will make a, a wind correction. Let's see. 18.7 degrees. No, I'm going to do an 18 flat. Not enough wind correction. Wow, that's a high arc. Turn into the splashes. Okay, so just about one grid closer. 
Actually, yeah, I'm going to uh, keep this 18.17.9. Little bit more wind correction. That dispersion, though, Jesus. Okay, rinse and repeat. I will need to come down a lot more. Not 16.5, though. Or maybe... Let's try 17 even. Well, I'd say 17.0 degrees was a good choice. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That was a near miss, and it started a fire. So they've got that going for them, which which is nice. I I like that because you know, realisms. I'm afraid to turn very much more because I do not want to lose those two rear guns. How far do I have to turn them before they go back? Right there. Oh, okay. About right there, was it? Maybe. Alright, last one was... Oh, wrong button. It's calling for 14.9, but I'm going to say no. Let's try 16 even. You're really trying, aren't you? Hopefully this turn won't be too sharp. Shit. Well, I still have three out of five. Yeah, let's try 13.8. Hey! Uh-oh. Laying smoke, huh? Turn... slightly. Ever so slightly. And... I need you to do a couple of things for me there, buddy. I need you to grab your ankles and kiss your ass goodbye. Alright, so 13.8 was the last one. It was just shy. But we are significantly closer. So from my current position, if I were to stay at the same elevation, it would probably put me somewhere over here. So I'm going to say 12.7.
turn in ever so slightly. Okay, so he's going away now. I'm going to put it back up to about 13.5? No, 13.3. Shit. Don't you run away from me. Well, what does he do? Oh, I can't really tell, because smoked up. Ooh, that's going to be too sharp of a turn. All right, I'll chase him. Alright, yeah, 12.0. Let's see what that does. Good hit. Started a fire. Straddled, basically. Hey, we're getting secondary explosions here. That's good stuff. Alright, let's try an even 10. Almost! All right, 9.7, that much wind correction. Oh, there you go. Bye, dude. So, Valentine, this has to be a V and W class destroyer. Destroyer, because of the name. All V and W class destroyers have a name that start with either a V or a W, and that that really holds true for, for all of the uh, destroyer or British destroyer classes w with class names similar to that. But yeah. Medium. Oh, yeah, that one hit. Well, okay. And we got uh, three stars on that one as well. What is in the next battle? Oh, two destroyers and a freighter. Well, we're coming right up on 30 minutes right now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. And yeah, I have nothing to, to purchase the next ship. So, I'm going to be a little outnumbered here, or in the next episode. Thank you for watching this one, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Once again, thank you for watching this. It, it, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one.